What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today we are watching NBA 2K21's new trailer called Welcome to 2K Beach plus you're my career. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we got the beach. Ferris wheel. Okay, that, that street looks fire. That gives me like 2K18 vibes, the neighborhood where you can just walk down before you actually get to the park. What the heck? Bro, that dance. Always remember where you came from. Was that Damien Lillard? Or like a Walmart brand Lillard? I don't know. Okay, we got part of my career. Newark East. This looks like high school. I think that's high school. Sharpen your skills. Yeah, that definitely looks like high school right there. So they have high school back from 2K17. Spartans, yeah, that's college. They have high school and college back in the game. Oh yeah, those are all the colleges, mascots. Imagine if they added college mascots, like they have the NBA mascots, that would be fire. Okay, so they just got a bunch of my career stuff here. There's Damian Lillard. There's Zion, okay. They have the draft in there. So maybe, maybe you don't get to choose what team you get drafted to like in 2K20, we'll see. Have your moment in the sun. Oh, okay, that part of the park looks fire. The courts are very vibrant, so that's good. They've got a Kobe mural, that's actually fire. They have an arcade, oh, I just saw the spin the wheel, NBA store, anti-up. The anti-up courts look different. Pro-Am on a rooftop, basketball gods, core conquer. I think that was Rush too in the background. There's mascots back in the game. Yo, this park looks pretty fire. I didn't realize before, but in this part of the video, they have the Gatorade facility and they have Doc's Barbershop. There's wheels in the top right. And they have a Core Conqueror banner, so I'm guessing they're gonna have a banner like that that tells you what event's going on, maybe, instead of having it on the screens, but I guess we'll see when the game comes out. Okay, so this neighborhood, it looks like it has the same layout, but it's, it's a little bit different. As you can see, there are some threes courts. I don't see any twos courts, and I do see in the on the left side of the screen you guys can see there's core conquer it shows what teams you play and it says core conquer 3v3 right there and then this looks like a rush building but i see some core conquer like flags on it so i'm not sure if rush and core conquer are going on at the same time or maybe they have core conquer matchmaking where you don't have to wait for games because it's just against ai's maybe they have that there's the boost they have pro-am again Oh, there's the there's the the Gatorade. I don't know why I just pointed, but there's the Gatorade facility. So I think right there behind the boost, I think that's the street where you walk down the street that we saw earlier with wheels and and docks and all that. I think that's where that is, unless it's. Oh wait, there might be two streets. I think there's a second street right right here next to the primary. On both sides of the primary, it looks like there are, are streets. There is going to be a randoms court again, I think, because every court says squad on it except the top right one. I wonder where the twos courts are. Maybe they just didn't show them. This green shot looks fire. You can tell the buildings are definitely different. They're more modern. That looks like an ice cream truck in the back there. I don't know what that is, but they are going to bring bikes back into the game. Here's the little walkway again. There's a guy with Kevin Durant jersey. He kind of looks like KD from the back, but they have the wreck right there. There's a sign where it says 2K Beach. There's the shoe store. So they changed the layout a lot, which is good because it's something different. This little part of the park looks fire. I think this... Let me go back in the video. I'm pretty sure this is right here. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that says 2K Beach. It's hard to tell because the aerial view and it's like backwards, but I think that's where that is. On this screenshot, you guys can see boost. You guys can see all the buildings and the mountains in the back. There's swags. As the camera moves a little bit, there's the there's the statue. I know it's been Allen Iverson in 2K, I think 18, 19, and 20 it's been AI, but I heard that they might change it to Kobe. I can't really tell from here but I guess we'll see when we get into the actual game. This Kobe mural right here looks fire. It says KB, yeah, we love KB, 824, and then Kobe. That's a pretty fire mural, pretty fire thing that they put into the game. They do have an arcade in the game, kind of like the 2K zone in NBA 2K18. They do have the elite wheel in there. I wonder if the actual wheel's in there too. I'm guessing it is, maybe just on the other side. I don't really know. But they did add the little mini game from Big Top where you shoot the balls into the hoop. I don't really know what it's called, but they added that back into the game. 
and then as you guys can see if we play a little more there's the nba store right next to swags that looks like a fire entrance how they have just two doors that say nba the design of this looks really good and right here the stage the entrance looks very different and then as you can see if we play a little more let me go back right there it has it says anti up and it's like blue so the stage courts i'm guessing they're all different i mean they're still gonna be brown but maybe like this one's blue as the other color another one might be red so i'm guessing they added a little bit of variation to stage so the courts aren't the same for those of you that play my team they did add the my team building back into the game here's a screenshot of the street that we saw in the very beginning of the video this is where docks and the gatorade facility are 3v3 pro-am is actually on a rooftop now which is pretty fire i think what they did is they took that rush tent and they just made it for all events because this looks like the rush tent right here as you can see it says basketball gods on it and in the top left you can see the time remaining so i'm pretty sure i don't want to say all the events but i saw core conqueror there were these little banners that are on on the tent right now where it says basketball gods. it said core conqueror before so i'm guessing core conqueror is matchmaking now basketball gods has always been matchmaking but they added this tent so I'm guessing most or maybe even all the events are matchmaking now, which is pretty good because you don't have to wait for games. As you can see in this screenshot on the right side of the screen, there's Core Conquer again on the tent. So I'm pretty sure that's matchmaking now. These, this court actually looks fire here. This is like some nice design in the middle. All the courts are different colors. Well, no, this one's the same color, but all of them are colorful, which is really good. So they did add these bikes back into the game and there's, there's Core Conquer once again. This view right here actually looks fire. There's the big Ferris wheel. Here's like the boardwalk, I'm pretty sure that is, or the pier where the park is on. I'm not really sure, but that does look like a boardwalk. Here are all the courts from a closer angle. All of them are really colorful, so they definitely learned from NBA 2K18. But I'm still wondering where the two courts are. I guess we'll find out when the game drops because I don't see them at all. Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. If there's anything I missed, make sure to comment down below. And also comment down below what your favorite part of this trailer was, what you're most excited about that's coming back into the game or any new features that are coming into the game. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.